welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Stream here. Here we are on the Old Stream Farm expansion. This is my Black Sheep Modding, and this is going to be a map tour of this beautiful map. This basically this is an expansion version of the first version of Old Stream Farm that we had back in when the FS22 first came out. And this was the Old Stream Farm originally was the first map to come out on FS22. And boy. We are in for a treat, so before we go any further, let's look at the description, shall we? So it says, Welcome to the Old Stream Farm Expansion. This is the famous farm in Semtis in the back within the expansion version of the... with even more farmland and even more fun. We'll get to that in a bit. It is set in the fictional European-style countryside. The area is criss-cross rivers that, is, that meanders between the southern plains and the northern hills. As you take to the main roads to your fields, you can visit the small village of... Dorfbach, Grunwald, Strandbach, and Damhof. You can choose where to start your business, either on the main farm, the sort farm, or one of the two new farms that can be purchased on the map. And the map also has as following 135 arable or meadow fields, 11 forestry plots, 4 building plots, 3 farm buildings, 1 dealership, 4 production areas, 1 livestock area, 1 sales market for your productions, 3 railway sites for selling crops. And also says thanks to the FS22 Placeable Maps Building Pack mod. And this means that most farm buildings can be sold. This means you can redevelop the existing farms to your heart's content pretty much and build your own farm to as your own choice. If you don't have money to carry out your projects, you can go to on Treasure Hunt where there's no fewer than 100 collectibles divided into 10 themes or wait for you. So I'm assuming that it's going to be like your basic collectibles that you'll see on normal basic game maps, so like the tractors and all that. So. If I come across them, I'll point those out. While you're earning your rewards to great bonuses for each theme, you can discover the Old Stream Farm expansion and magnificence for a new campaign. And there are three core mods for this map, and as usual, two of them are Black Sheep modding, and which I don't get why mappers who make their own maps put a required mod pack which is part of their own mods. That, to be fair, I do not know, and I do have an issue with that, but. Regardless, there are three required mods, so first one is the 60 build pack by Black Sheep Modding, along with their old storage shed and the agricultural fair by Shenben. Obviously, the map itself is 286.29 megabytes to download. However, with these extra required mods, that is an additional 208 megabytes, so you're looking at around 494, 493 megabytes for the entire map. That does include the also required mods, and yeah, as part of the expansion, there are some new crops, or, well, one new crop, new alfalfa. And just go over the expansion very briefly. So, when you look at the normal version of this map, we didn't have this expansion over here. This bit is all brand new because before, on the original version, we all had it these like grilled out or hidden out areas. So, we've got additional lands to use on top of that if you go down south you've got access to plot 111 so that's going to be like your grassland area or forestry we'll have a look at that on top of that you get access to all these fields down here because before the map boundary went along the railway went down here and it cut across the river here so all these fields on the southern side of the river you have access to now so this map has been expanded and enhanced. So, back onto the main farm. We're going to go for the first full domain farm area. So, on new farm mode, you start off with plot 2, plot 3, and also have access to the grain elevator, which has some little land, as well as the little boundary areas to a certain extent. So, you got access to your production areas. And as far as I can gather, Every plot of land can be purchased, so yeah, I haven't gone across anything that you can't purchase. Obviously, you've got little areas here you can buy. And fill prices overall themselves briefly before we go into the full in depth of the PDA are a little bit expensive compared to other maps you may have played on, but still, it is all very reasonable. Like, I remember playing this map on Missy P Discord server when this first came out, and this is a beautiful map to play on and I highly recommend this map but anyway so we go into your own equipment so 
On New Farm Road, Slot Count is 1,455. On Farm Manager and Start from Scratch, Slot Count goes down to 1,357. As far as I can gather, the only difference is you don't have the equipment, so we start off with the basic essential equipment. So, first of all, starting off, we've got the Fenta Favorite 511C. Along with our medium tractor, we've got the John Deere 7810. The Deutz Far Top Liner 49H Combine Harvester. With the Top Liner Header and Header Trailer. Front loaders, we've got the Schaffer 2630. So, something we do often see in that. Along with this pickup, a Class Carrot 140 TD Trader, along with a small Pottinger Servo 25 Plow, a Rabi EG 3 9 Cultivator, a Nordstein HK 25 and NS 3030 Drill, along with your front loader and that for your front, oh, sorry, a front loader bucket for your front loader, and you got your John Deere weight and your Timkin 600kg weight. So. As far as I can gather, this is the exact same equipment you start off with normally on the Old Street Farm. So, first of all, yeah, so the main farm area, if you do want to purchase or sell this area, you can sell it for 232 grand. And yeah, so obviously you got the little road that leads in from the main road. And then the head over here, so you got the shore shed, this and that over here. They've come out of here. Do have a little field here, field two in that. And that field on its own cannot be sold, that is part of the main farm. But yeah, so if you're familiar with Black Sheep Modding and some of the mods and that, this is a very immersive house. So you've got your wardrobe here for your house. Seat trigger is just here. And yeah, overall it is, again, even from back when this first came out, it was very well detailed and. I think some work has been done just to sharpen things up as well, I think. Head over here, you've got your little workshop bay area. And the good thing about this, yeah, the hazard mark area is just on the outside, so you can drive any equipment you wish. Also, you can drive equipment onto the inside. Long as you park your equipment, like, roughly here, it'll still get triggered in that. On top of that, we do have some crop, well, not crops of animals, so you've got chickens. Along with sheep barn large, cow barn with meadow and pigsty. So yeah, if you want to, purchase some chickens so you can hold 150 chickens. So your eggs will spawn here, and the feeding is here. And one thing I love about these chicken pens is the chickens just roam around the farm now. That, that's one thing that amazed me when FS22 first came out now, like the ability for that to happen now. And it's still good to see him again function nowadays. And yeah, so we've got a little storage area over here. Got plenty of storage areas. Next, got your pig side, you can that can hold 60 pigs. And your feeding trigger is just here. And if you move along across, you've got your combine harvester net. And again, plenty of areas to sort equipment, bells, seat bags, whatever you wish. And then we we'll head over here. This is going to be as part of the old old storage shed. That's part of the one required mod. So this is a bell and pad storage. I remember when this first came out. I think it was just a normal shed as well. So it wasn't a auto load in you no know, bell bell and pad storage shed. So that is one of the new features we've seen on the FS22. Also, do you have the options to keep or remove the decorative? You know the little straw in there. And to be fair. I rather prefer that I do. Yeah, some other visual glitches here and there, but overall, not too bad. Haven't come across any game breaking issues or anything like that. Moving across, you've got your sheep barn that can hold 100 sheep, so trigger is just over here. And again, like how this is all done, like the wood, the bells, and that, it just adds that immersion to it. And again, that's one thing I love about these kind of maps. Like, Especially map makers like Black Sheep Mall and that, and other map makers put that level of immersion and details into their maps and that. So, but yeah, so that's your sheep barn over here. But wait, there is more to see. So, I think this is going to be your cow barn over here, which is milk, 
So over there. But yeah, your serving out output is just over here. Milk is just there. And your feed trigger is just over here. Now if we open that up, that's gonna lead us to our two massive bunker silos. Now I think these can hold in a realm of half a million or a million liters of silage and that memory serves me right. And if we head around, got another bunker silo over here. And as we head up, we do have the ability to access to the top of these, but well, yeah, you can't really drive over them that, so, so I think I was, was that same when this first map first came out on that? So I'm pretty sure when I was taking it off, but not intentional, but anyway, so another sort of shed over here. Now as we head into the drone mode, I was able to take the farm into to its own vaso. A pretty decent sized map in that, decent sized farm, plenty of space to manoeuvre and navigate around, and as mentioned there are plenty of roads to see, so obviously you've got your drone gear over here, front loader, and your pickup is just over here in that so I think what we're going to do is turn the save off, but yeah, turn it off now, so... As I was saying, so we toured the main farm area. And I think, where are we to? We're just over here. So I think the best way to go about it is go up north, loop around, and then come back down and just explore it clockwise. But first of all, let's go over to the PDA in more depth. As I mentioned, there are plenty of fuels to purchase. And yeah, land will cost you no more than around about 300 grand. I think in 83 there, 205. 79 is 305. Do have this vast area down here, which is three quarters of a mil, which I'm thinking is forestry, but again, we'll have a proper look. Again, I'll just send that by the, the little dirt trail over there, but get into more depth than that in a bit. So, obviously, we've gone over the main farm, and as we come out the main road, this will lead you to the vehicle shop and the bakery. So, that's going to be one of your productions. And if you head up north, so you've got one of your trading cell points. Grain elevator up to the north. And as we head down, this will head into your production. So you've got your normal bakery, this one is. We do have a, another bakery that is an additional new production that, as part of the map. Over here, you've got your restaurant and your tier shop. Then you've got your spittery, great processing unit, farmer's market cell point, sugar mill. BGA 250 kilowatt, biomass heat plant, line production, which I'm pretty sure that is one of the custom ones. But yeah, sawmill, carpentry, that as part of the little area. Then also you've got another little production hub just over here. But yeah, got your Amdu ship, flat grain mill, sorry, not flour mill. Not same thing, pretty much. Then yeah, so got your GLW, so that's going to be your. Railway silo. Then, yep, yeah, so over here is going to be your new production. So, you've got Fry's Factory, then Dairy, which is a custom production. Top of that, got the Country Bakery, which is part of the 60 Billions pack, and the Agricultural Fair. So, but yeah, go into build mode first of all. So, there's not too many custom stuff as part of the map itself. Like, for example, 60 builds pack and the old sort of sheds we've seen. Silos, we do have a couple of stuff. So you've got your bunker silos, different variety. So it's part of the BGA and the main farm stuff. Nothing under silo expansions, under tools and that. So you've got your base station that again, that's all part of the 60 builds pack. Ignore that. That's just mainly as part of a test I'm going to do with the fries and that later on. Farmhouse. Yep, same thing as always. Production, we do have a couple of custom productions as part of the map, so got your typical BGA nap, which I'm very familiar with. Long the line production and the fries factory. So that requires sunflower oil and potatoes to get some delicious French fries. Cell points, agriculture fair and cell builds pack and that. 60 builds pack and that. Uh, yeah, as far as I can gather that is Pretty much it. 
also do have a custom wind turbine as part of the map itself. And other animals have a little look as far as I can gather. Yeah, it's all pretty much part of the whole 60 build pack. With the exception of the chicken coop. So, we do have a different chicken coop that can hold 2,000 chickens and, interestingly, 2,000 chickens, 60 grand. Apparently, there's already one put down, so we're going to have a look at that because, yeah, slot count that is one. But 50,000 capacity, and that will take a variety of items. So, that I'm going to have to see for myself. Bees, nothing, others, nothing. Other decorations and all that. As usual, you've got these 60 billions packs of that. Lights, nothing, and under others. Yes, you've got your decorative houses. And then lastly, if we head into landscaping, painting, do have the same, so I'm not doing that too much. But anyway, so now let's drive around, so... Again, I'm going to act and review this map as it is just your first map. See, if you're not familiar with the original version of this, then it's well as I'm doing a safety that because that map came out, what, like three years ago now, so. But yeah, stay in the beautiful view and see in this map. I'm just going to turn the help menu off here for a sec. But yeah, have a little around as it rolling hills and that. Yeah, got your railway in that, so let's go and leave it to yourself in that. I want to expand the new areas in that, for myself as well, but... Yeah, just a fast amount of scenery again. It's a map that's been well done, that especially it's been obvious it's been well done. Maybe a little bit of metal land in that. It's like dual carriageways in that. And can you jump here? Ah. Technically, yes, you can, but you can't fall onto the road, so. Oh, uh, no jumping onto the highway in that, unfortunately. But again, something like that is nice to see in that pop out of that. So it has a bit of reason and immersion. But yeah, that's how it just flows from what you get familiar with on the basic version. This. On to these new areas. Yeah, this is going to be one of your little buildable up areas as well. So, if we go to the map, so we just come from the main farm, gone up here and that loop around, and you can purchase the area for just a mere 26 grand. Actually, what we told, let's just do it now. So, I want to purchase that area. Because, yeah, I want to have a look at those chicken coops a sec, so... Again, a bit of a diversion, I know, but... I'm sure this is going to be on one of the other farms now, or something. Okay, we can't do it that way. And to be fair, it doesn't deform the trade too much. There are obviously some minor deformations in that, but... Yeah, a bit of landscaping should be done before now, but yeah, it's just a quick... You no, know, back, back down. Ooh, nice little area over here and that. Triggers and that. And let's get some chickens in. Let's go, say, if you get only 60 at a time, we can do right. There we go. So yeah, now we're looking at their feed and that, so... In terms with what you can feed them and that, so... 
This will require straw. Yeah, so this one requires straw, just to confirm. Oh yeah, so you can feed them green that get 100% effectiveness, or if you've got corn or lettuce, you can feed your chicken those, and they will be half effective, but that is pretty nice, I have to say. Pretty nice indeed. So yeah, have a look, so if he goes in there, eggs come out of here. Ooh, that is rather interesting. I'll have a look at that a bit more later on. So, taking a minor detour, so yeah. Now, let's quickly go over this chain cube. So, your short input is over here, and that will hold 5,000 years, I am assuming. Since we had a 45,000 year input, as you know, if we have a little look at our animals, 45,000 years of grain. Actually, the capacity for straw is a lot higher. So, let's figure that out. So, let's go and go to our containers. Whack another one of these down. Fill it up with straw. And it goes back and up. So, yeah, very easy to access. Feed capacity is 45,000 years and straw. If I had to guess, about 50,000 years as well. 45,000 years, maybe. But yeah, it'd be interesting how the eggs come out. So I've got 2,000 chickens here already. Yeah, overall, it doesn't take up too much space in that. I do like how it looks in that. I've got auto engines off, so. Off and yeah, on those are showing. See so yeah, about 40,000 years or so. So overall, not too bad of a capacity in that. So in eight hour now. And also, we produce some manure as well. So seven and a half thousand years for that first hour. And maybe we've got these chickens at less than a full hour. So seven and a half thousand years an hour of manure we'll be producing. Straw consumption is what? 10,000 years or so an hour? And feeding consumption per hour as well is. Actually, the straw was 2,000 years an hour, and food was. What's that? Less than 500 an hour? 400 an hour? So. To be honest, for 2,000 chickens, they didn't really consume too much in that. 400 an hour, times that by 24, so. 800. 8,000, actually yeah, not too bad, what was that, Eight, 82,000 years of feed a day or something like that? So yeah, overall not too bad, not too shabby, sorry, 8,200, not 82,000, 8,200 per month, so 45,000 years of grain, that will, that will last a while, that will, about 6 months or so, give or take. At the moment we're not producing any eggs now. Oh no we are, sorry. 125 an hour we're producing, so... We skip ahead another two hours. We should get some more eggs coming out. And there we go. We've got 800 litres so far. See, so yeah, a bit more time. That's 833. Let's see how much we produce per hour. Not too bad. So, I remember we're not getting any egg pads spawning. How? Ah, wait a minute. Ah, all those up over here it does. So. Yeah, pallets are 1,400 litres. Uh, yeah, actually I'd like that. How they all spawned over there. Give it till the next hour. So yeah, that's where your egg pallets spawn. So yeah, we can lift that up, I think. Look here, I have some minor issues there. So let's go and... Get these eggs out. So 
So yeah, that's how it comes out. Oh yeah, yeah, I just did do this perfectly now where I've gone and move pad snap, but hopefully this will all come out fine. Yes they do. So yeah, so that's where you export. So yeah, again that was a bit of a minor detour on that, so 8,200 litres of feed a month they will consume at 2,000. Oh yeah, terms with straw. Yeah, they do consume a fair bit of straw and actually it's more than that because we have 26,000. But yeah, so math is a bit off on that, but we do have 50,000 litres of manure. Yeah, we don't have a... didn't put a manure heap down or anything, so... And there's no obvious output for the manure gnats. So my question is, where does the manure come out of? Ah, wait a minute. Found it. Pasty, or do we produce more? So let me skip another hour. See, so yeah, 50,000 a year. It's not too shabby. Actually, yeah, to get manure, I will soon we'll need straw, so let's quickly grab some more straw. So yeah, straw consumption is just under 4,000 years an hour. But yeah, 50,000 year is the maximum capacity, and I'm assuming we can just fill the manure up by you know, pressing a filter or anything like that. Nope. So to get all this manure up, we need a bucket or a conveyor belt of some sort. Again, there's plenty of mods that, or just use space games up if you wish, but... Yeah, that was just, again, a minor detour now, I thought it was worth looking at, so... Let's turn you off. Well, yeah, that's, you know what, let's use this drone doing that to continue the tour after the sun is setting, so... All you can see to the right of us is the, again, the expanded animal and stuff. Yes, no, it's not taking a hand sat, but taking a haze or a pull from GTNX, expanding all the hands and that. But yeah, the expansion on this map and that is definitely worth it that. And as we head into another village, or another some pedestrians, as you do. So you have to say, this is rather well done to be fair on that. Another farm error over here, I'm assuming. So, yep, yeah, 93. And from that, you get a little farmhouse. Or if you want, you can just go and delete these, right? So, yeah, you can delete that, delete that. So, yeah, you can pretty much delete everything. So, you can just, you know, want to clear things up. There you go. So yeah, not too bad actually. I do again. I like the ideas of this. Like, you know, having buildings that like, you can just you know demolish if you do want there. But anyway, so here I got your agricultural fair. Again, that is just well put in. That is nicely implemented. Like with bakery and your dairy now. So this is going to be some of your new productions that. Or if you're not familiar with 60 Films Pack or other productions you've seen from Black Sheep Modding, but yeah, with this dairy, so the other dairy only produces butter, cheese, and that chocolate, I think. But this dairy also produces yo yogurt or yogurt with sugar, so 2,400 cycles per month, two the years of milk, along with half of the year of sugar, gets you some yogurt with sugar. Not too bad, not too shabby. Then you got the country bakery now, so yeah, you can get your men's hearts, apple tarts, what's it, Bugon, Bershons, whatever it's called, ba basically a bagel on that, so yeah, that I'm really impressed with. But yeah, one thing I'm really keen on is this one over here. Yes, taken again realm from the great processing unit as a base game item. Along with a little shed again, just it's been well utilized in that. So sunflower oil and potatoes as I mentioned. 
1 litres of sunflower oil and 5 litres of potatoes gets you 1 litre of fries. 6,480 cycles per month. Yeah, so look at some of these prices in that as well. So, we'll go down and have a little look. So, obviously, you got your alfalfa and alfalfa hay. Melons and that, pallets and that. Wooden climbing frame. So, that's going to be part of the sawmill, I'm assuming. But yeah, fries on their own. 5,800. Yeah, 5,850. Peak at 7,000 or so, give or take. Compare that to sunflower oil on its own. Which is not really worth too much more now. Again, depends on the, when you're selling that, but. Your full sunflower oil can be just worth more than that. But, again, it's something different to do. It's something to use size other things. But you may not be often do that. It's always about making. Is it worth doing X productions to get X amount of money for it? Sometimes it's just a case of, you know, just do something different than that. And the full, you know, what's going this way, take a little detour on that. And yeah, just take in the vast view and see the real the map now. This is absolute undone. Yeah, it's gone up north, expanded the north section. We'll come down, look at the cell point on sorry train cell point over there look at the railway silo and then yeah we'll come back down and yeah we'll come back along this road and then yeah we'll cut through back to your normal map and then yeah we'll continue on as so but yeah folks on this map so far yeah definitely something you can I highly recommend it something you may do some stream so yeah plan on getting back into stream on that so this could be a good map to stream on. Oops. Wait. So, yeah, straight cell point is just over there, so it goes into the tunnel net and just boom. But yeah, I do love this map. This does look awesome, man. Yeah, again. Pretty much again, a bit of a cell point. Yeah, definitely a top map to play on, so. Anyways. I can hear that. So you've got the train side on that, you can hear that. The green light is generic, in terms of what you may be used to, but obviously some little bits and touches in that. So, the points in that are just over here. The red train is just over here, and how much is it going to be to red train? 500 per hour, so not too bad. So, 500 is a thing to well, it's a the base game as well, so it doesn't make using the train an absolute cost of farming there, especially if you're doing small scale farming, like on this map now, you can go, oh wow, go big bang and what if you want to, but also, yeah, we just stuff that you start off with that, just crack on with what you're doing, you can just contract work if you wish in that, so... Just to say on that, but anyways, we're leaving the expanded and enhanced part and I'm back on to familiar with that. So, I'm gonna go under the high major carriageway, whatever you call it. That. Yeah, for me, yeah, that'll be a dual carriageway in that because it's a two lane or two by two lane. So, yeah, we've got your fuel station over here. Before this is where the map used to end that, down this part, so you got the green mill over here. And then to your fun of adding this as well. So let's go and have a little look, shall we? So yeah, with this you can get your flowers and that. Wheat, barley, oats and sorghum. Decent fruit on that, I think that's very close to base game, if not base game. So yeah, I think let's go down. Yeah, actually, let's look at the. Yeah, there's a forest area over here, right? So, I was right, so. So, yeah, as expected, this is a wooden map. So, oh, yeah, three quarters of a mill. But seeing that, yeah, it may seem expensive to some of that, but there are ways to get money in there. Very quickly, to get to that 750 per 
that. And for that, you can get a lot of money from the trees and that. Make an absolute banger of a bug in that. To be fair, some of these trees are quite large in that, so these are going to be the easy trees to work on. So, no need to use the cream expansion in that, or sorry, platinum expansion to work on these bigger trees in that. But yeah, 25. Trees, you know, as easy as go with base game forestry equipment. But yeah, absolute a beaut of a land. So yeah, just exit the forestry area. And I think again we'll go into the suddenly new expanded and enhanced areas and that so yeah before you couldn't really go across this river and that, but now you can so Again, this is going to be more sort of forestry focus and that. Again, sort of away from the village that into the countryside itself in the way and that. So, then you still let your folks work on and get our contracts on this map. And have a quick look at some of them if we haven't skipped through them already. So, contracts, bathing, 10 grand and that, harvesting. So, yeah, there is plenty of money to be made in that. So, that is all from Hay now. Hay and the size contract. But yeah, plenty of meadows in very sand to work on, so yeah, you can come onto this map and do whatever you want now. Plenty of opportunities to do everything. Productions, yes or no, grass, yes or no to make soil out. Or just sit down and do farming. Crack on the bat. So you can tricks tracks over there and that. Cross, it's going to be one of your other farms you can purchase down here. So, uh, we'll cut across down here now. Try to speed things up a little bit. So, yeah, out here. And uh, just through here next. Nice little historic farm here to look at. So, oh, sorry. Eight grand for that. So, getting little plots that we can purchase. So yeah, storage areas here if you wish, and I'm assuming you can sell these. Can't sell that. Fair enough. But yeah, you can sell this small garage if you wish. And yeah, this is going to be your hub from that, so... Pop through here. Not too bad, not too shabby in that. And yeah, this is going to be the chicken coop. And I was like wondering where it was, so. There we go. Chicken coop that we just literally looked at that. But yeah, overall, not too bad and not too shabby. But let's go through here and that. A little push and over there. there. Let's have a look up here, shall we? So. Yeah, it's not how I do my map tours and that sort of yeah, go around. Sometimes I do a quick overview and that sort of quick look around, see if anything needs to miss. Anything to note down in that, some sort of enhance or sorry, time for the map tour and that. But yeah, building a little area over there, so again, yeah, use those little areas and that to wipe down the, the chicken coop and that. So, I think to be honest, if you're going to be playing on this map, those chicken, that chicken coop there, that's going to be. And again, we're heading up here on the side of the river and that. The only day is just good to explore about that, so. Especially now, it's 5 o'clock, the sun is just starting to set. I think yeah, we'll head up here. I think we will just cut across the river to our left. Because, yeah, as we come along here, so let's go across here. And we'll have a look at your other productions. Head towards the BGA and that, buy my seed plant, learn production, yeah, BGA sawmill over here. Yeah, BGA is just over here, right? And BGA on its own is free to purchase, so good bit of information to know. And then, yeah, I'll wrap things up by heading towards the dealership. Back on the familiar ground, so yeah. 
now what we're going to do is have a look at some of our other productions. So, start off with uh, the normal dairy. Uh, I think we're all the way down the road now. So, again, as I mentioned, uh, if you just want to do other normal productions, nothing special that day. Yeah, our normal productions are available on that. That does require extra things that you may not be used to that. So, for example, the dairy over here. So, I'm going to purchase that for 40 grand. So, yeah, butter, cheese, and not chocolate. Actually, look at the recipes in that. So, 240, 1200. 40, 1200. 3 to 2, 15 to 3. So, you get a bit more butter in that, but the same amount of cheese. And let's head back down the road. And I'll just take you in the blues now. So, yeah, that's going to be your wind turbine over there. I think the one on the map itself is just a decorative one, it's not one I can get you on the net. Head over here. This is going to be where you produce your tea source, so you get your clothes enough for the fabric and that. Oh yeah, if we just head down here, this is going to be your spinnery. So yeah, all and all that, all cotton. Go over here. And then, yeah, get your fabric and distribute it or whatever you wish to the spinner in that. And head over here. Just gonna be your grapes. Yeah, ratios and that. Looks like the same now. that. Nice little entrance way as well. So, and just hop back into our John here. We'll look at the rest down here. And then, yeah, as I mentioned, we'll go back up. Off to the tier ship to wrap up the match or so. It's all point over here that BJ is just to your left and yeah, as mentioned. You can sell it, I'm pretty sure, so go to the BJ. Oh no, you can't sell the BJ. I thought you could sell it before that. I think I was in an update that that made it able to sell the BJ. But yeah, at the end of the day it's free now, so Turns we have decided to now we'll have a little look, so purchase the BJ for 120 grand. I think now you're able to sell it, that's it. But you have decent throughputs and that decent ratio, especially the amount of manure now we're producing from these chickens. 5,000, 10,000 a month, so yeah, just use manure from the chickens to pump up your BJ Nats. Yeah, there are obviously two entrance ways. Enter and exit this way, so this should just drive right through. Again, I can't remember all the funds I've had for that BJ Nat getting stuck with the trains and that, but. Anywho. So you've got sugar mill Nats. Over here, 8 grand. Yeah, ratios now look the same as base. And yeah, in terms of the equipment, well, you can use that. Like, again, I'm using the base game joint deer here. Yeah, maybe slightly big, bigger for the rooms and that, but this can get away a bit, so maybe not like the first tiles or the quad track stuff in that, but to a lot of it, you can get away with a fair bit, so we might have actually planned down here. Here is going to be your stone and the lime crusher, so again, I just like how it's all well implemented and all fit into the map. It's not just whack down and play, so it's a 1 to 3 ratio, so yeah, definitely doing lime is worth it, especially at 480 cycles per month, 6,000 liters of lime per cycle now, so you can get a fair bit of lime rather quickly. Anyways, we're gonna head out of here, so just going around down here. And then yep, I'm gonna take this road up here, Nat. Go towards the deer ship. And that's where I'm gonna wrap up the map for so final thoughts and conclusions. So I'm missing there may be some little bias from obviously playing this map before that and being familiar with Gold Street Farm OG version of it, but yeah, I say that, but yeah, I'm not biased with my pin stats. The bare rooms aren't good now, don't get me wrong, but overall, the map is well done. 
not many, if not some very, very minor little things and glitches that I may have seen in that, but for the most part, 99% of it is that, yeah, the minor things, it doesn't really interfere with the gameplay, it doesn't interfere with the immersion, so yeah, the minor visual glitches with the textures on the old storage shed and that. So overall, the map itself are rates a 5 out of 5 in that. The only thing that does let it down is to card mods and that, especially the ones by will actually modding, like for them to make it as a card mod and that, though it's their own mods they're using, they can easily just implement those buildings into the map itself now, I'm sure. Oh yeah, also I forgot to mention, bakeries over here, 50 grand. Oh yeah, that's going to be just your normal bakery net. But yeah, besides from that, overall, I can't really complain about the map now. Yeah, those required mods is a hit and miss thing. But yeah, for all we're getting, 500 megabytes now for a map and that. So, I've seen worse of maps with higher file sizes and a lot more required mods, especially one we'll be looking at, which is the, I think it's the banner, Banderites, whatever farm that by Android ML. Basically, a South American map that requires a 40 mods that. So, three mods that I'm happy with. So, this is going to be shop. So, spawn and reset point. D ship is just over here. So, repair is just here. So, if you don't have a workshop in that, and that's going to be your purchase point in that. So, yeah, overall, yeah, map 5 out of 5 in that, so... I like the way the map's been done, yeah, there's not many, like, custom crops in that, again. Only that's been added is alfalfa. Oh yeah, even I forgot to go over it, the... Crop counter in that is very base game, I'm pretty sure, by the looks of it, so... Yeah, can't get away with too much in that, maybe some custom geos in that, but... Again, that's... I think that's more of a FS22 that's been knacking that. It's this whole season's geo that we had back in 19 and that. So you can put your own custom geos and that in. But overall, I get why it hasn't been done. So I don't think I'll grab onto that, about that too much. But yeah, definitely a map I recommend. So give it a go. 500 megabytes does seem a lot in that. But you do get a lot out of it in that. Especially those chickens alone in that. Like, this is going to be definitely something that we should on to in that. But it makes. That's it for the map tour net. And as always, hope you found this helpful and affordable in some way, shape, or form. If so, special button, favorite comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, please consider. But for as you do, hope you stay. But for now, this will be for my Apple stream. And I'll see you all very soon.